Welcome to my On The Money Beat The Squeeze Spring Statement Look Ahead Special. The UK is in the midst of a cost of living crisis and ahead of this Russia-Ukraine conflict, prices were already rising at their fastest pace in 30 years, with inflation at 5.5%. But harsh Western sanctions on Russia and Moscow's countermeasures have sent global oil, gas and other commodity markets into orbit, with the price of fuel and food spiralling, adding to our already serious cost of living squeeze. Now, as living standards fall for millions of households, Rishi Sunak's coming under pressure to do more to help struggling families in his spring statement. That's next Wednesday, the 23rd of March. Designed as a mini budget, the Chancellor's spring statement is taking on huge importance in light of this military war between Russia and Ukraine and the related East-West economic conflict. The highly respected Institute of Fiscal Studies says the cost of living squeeze means Sunak faces what they call a huge judgment call over whether or not to borrow more given the vast amount spent on furlough and other pandemic measures. As fuel and energy prices rise, will the Chancellor do more to protect those on moderate incomes from those rising energy costs, asked the IFS. If not, the public faces the biggest hit to household incomes, at least since the 2008 financial crisis. Consider also that one in five workers are employed by the public sector, including doctors, nurses, state school teachers. As the cost of living rises, the Chancellor will need to find more money, says the IFS, to avoid a painful public sector pay squeeze. There are around 5.7 million public sector workers. And even before this Russia-Ukraine conflict, inflation was heading for 7% this year. If public sector pay is to keep up with those price rises, the Chancellor needs to find an extra £10 billion, says the IFS. That's equivalent to an extra two pence on the basic rate of income tax. Now, during the COVID pandemic, our youthful Chancellor borrowed heavily to fund those anti-COVID health measures and support schemes. But now this Russia-Ukraine conflict and related sanctions have put our public finances under huge pressure once more. As inflation rises and living standards slide for millions, what can the government actually afford to do? And that's our question during this On The Money Spring Statement Preview Special. Can Rishi Sunak counter the cost of living squeeze?